So a lot has happened in the last few days that I'd need clarification on. Um, the most recent news would be Sherika Jackson being pulled out of the 100 meters um, just a couple of days before a competition would have begun. I just want you to go through the timeline of events uh, because from our position it seemed as if notification was late for Sasha Lee Forbes to compete. How did that timeline go? You're correct. The notification was late and you would have seen therefore that the fact that she was brought in late, you would realize that people involved in shock and field would know that she would have been training for relay practices. So the training would have been a little different from having to start doing the 100 meters. So the notification was late and that's not the ideal situation. What's the protocol usually? If somebody is um, not available, it would be said that we should have been given enough notice in terms of what is likely to happen so that some adjustments can be made in terms of the training and other, and other um, documentary preparations. Late, however, would be quantifiable because there's a particular date where the final entries can be made, correct? Yes, so that was that, that date when the final entries, that was that date when we were, we were given the proper information for us to actually make a, a presentation. So an argument could have been made that it wasn't quite late, but in the scheme of things, you're saying that you could have been notified earlier. To be notified earlier would have made us in a better position to do certain things, yes. Are we looking good for the relays? Because there's a lot of discussion as to whether we'll have enough athletes for the relays, especially the preliminary rounds. I believe we should be we should be fine. I believe we should be fine. You have noticed over the past two years the relays have not been at the level we used to be say four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. But I think we should be fine. Who are the names we've called up? Well, the thing is the, the technical leader will decide that because I don't want to actually call names, but you would see the persons who are on the one hundred meters and you'd have seen the people who are the, the reserve athletes. So those are the names. I'm assuming that new names haven't been added from outside the original that were chosen? No, no, because if, if you are referring to Miss Nelson, yes. she was always in, included. She okay. was all, her name was always included. Okay, but in terms of her traveling though, is there an issue for her to be in Paris in time? She's in Europe at the moment. So um, preparations are made for her to travel to Paris within the next two days. Comments were made that if they were her, they wouldn't take up the invitation to come based on the fact that she was on and off, on and off, so to speak, according to what she has posted on social media. There was no on and off, on and off. Because when a person is a reserve, is a reserve, and the person will be called upon if, if needed. So there was no suggestion about on and off uh, in terms of, so we did it, the documentation in terms of the team selection. And if one person is listed as reserve, as the word reserve says, the reward will be called upon if need arises mm -hmm. and that the need arises now. So if persons are making comments, I don't think that's, that's a very good comment to make, but I will not comment further on that. Is there anything that you could take away as a learning lesson moving forward? Things that could have been done differently, you feel? Let me say this. When the Jamaica Athletics Administration has its events, we know exactly what we have to do and we do what we need to do. For instance, we went to, to Budapest last year and we had 19 officials. Now we 16 in terms of management, coaches, medical and massage therapists and coaches. So what happened now? But what we did, well, there is a quota, but we took it upon ourselves to pay for the extra, for the extra cost at excess limit, costing as well, to have all these people there. And the same thing could have been done here. But it's, just, it's not the J3's event, and, it, and it's the funding ought to come from the Jamaica Olympic Association. But all I'm saying is that I don't think persons are short of funds. Mm -hmm. So in terms of making the ideal preparation for teams, that could have been done di differently. Because at the end of the day, there are 88 medals from the Olympics and 87 from track and field. And Chuck and Phil ought to get the respect mm -hmm. it deserves. And it's not just respect, it has earned. And the people of Jamaica will understand that every time they talk about Olympics, 
the corporate world, everybody knows it, it's track and field. Mm -hmm. So we should not have to be having difficulties in terms of having the, the, the quota, or even if you exceed quota, once it can be accommodated in terms of pay, making excess payments, in terms of bringing extra athletes, those are things that should, be, should not have been an issue. But that's how it is. There is a narrative out there in terms of changing of the guard that is needed um, in regards to management of these type of events, administration, etc. Um, I'm sure you'd have heard that as well. What are your thoughts on that? Because it, it, it's a noise that is growing, even from people who may not know the details, but still a response to that narrative. A lot of people in Jamaica are ignorant to track and field. They know nothing about track and field, know nothing about preparation of teams, and they don't know about the issues involved. We have not gone around and saying that we have had this type of problem. We don't go around and discuss these things. But 90% of the people who speak are people who are totally ignorant and have nothing constructive to say. And I will say that. I'll say it here and I'll say it everything because it's a fact. Is there a succession plan in place though to alleviate issues may, that may come in the future for those who are probably ignorant of the issues now but would like to be in positions where decisions are made in the future? Let us say, let us put it th this way. The successful countries have a system in place and ours is no different. Okay. Let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. You would have, like the United States, they would have certain persons who are there every Olympic game for several years. Mm -hmm. And they bring in persons, different persons to come in. We have this type of situation because we have had persons um, who have um, just come in for the first time. Mm -hmm. And we continue to do that. So we have succession planning in terms of um, performance. So the succession plan we talk about, you know, I don't think it has, uh, there has to be specific. Mm -hmm. They have to be specific. You talk about the noises. Mm -hmm. What they need to do is to come and say this, this, but we are making that things not going well mm -hmm. and Jamaican will change. That is, that is rubbish and garbage from people who have no, nothing substantial to say. If you have a criticism, point on it. Anybody want to say anything and say, what would you like to see happening in terms of the J-Trace mm -hmm. or what you want to see happening in terms of preparation for these games? You speak to it and we can say, yes, we did it, but maybe you did not realize that or something. But people need to be specific, no generic argument noise. Do you have an open door policy with the athletes and have they utilized it? Y yes. You, oh, athletes? Yeah. Y yes. But you may be, not be aware that there are some coaches, some areas, that try to keep the athletes apart Away. from everybody mm -hmm. else. So in that case, you would not ideally say you have an open year policy because the access is not as it ought to be. Tell and me the about type it. of Right. <laughs> so that is the type of situation. So yes, we have an open year. And a matter of fact, we welcome and we really appreciate any time we have opportunities like this to speak with them. We were at a camp the other day. And I can tell you that it worked very well because um, a number of the athletes, we had a more one-on-one -on -one together because that's um, gels camaraderie. So a lot of these things help when we have like a camp, but not everybody goes to a camp either. So we will always have a situation where we don't have 100% of the type of mix or arrangement that would be ideal. Accommodation is okay, by the way, because I know that a few athletes were complaining about the heat as well. Well... A lot of athletes from all countries were complaining. Mm. So that is something that has been normal to... Universal. Uh, universal mm -hmm. to all the athletes in the, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the village. One or two countries may have done something extra. And for getting their, ACs. For their athletes. Mm -hmm. Yes, one or two countries. But if you look at the United States, that has um, basketball. Right. Basketball as well millionaires mm -hmm. and one in one case billionaire mm -hmm. it's easy for them to do a lot of things that's not really really normal to the other countries but so, it's not it's not whole scale where other people are doing it for countries no it's a few countries few few countries have done it especially so that would have been a budgetary if issue in terms of comfort right that would have been a bu budgetary issue in terms of comfort but the thing is i do not think it's something that could not be done okay all right fair enough but i'm not 
I'm not soliciting or pressing for it. Got it. Um, yes. Finally, what's the mood in the camp? Because usually Jamaicans tend to perform so well under adversity. But what's the mood in the camp now? I think the mood is good. I think the athletes are quite... You talk about heat, but I think the athletes are quite... They're training well. And a lot of activities are taking, lively activities. And I think the results will be good. People are spoken about the food. Again, I don't like to complain about those things because you can survive, but the point I'm making, is not the best we have ever had, mm -hmm. but it's not something that would make you don't perform. Thank you, Mr. Watts, for your time. Yes.